Kylie here from Working Geek TV at Essen 2013. I'm sitting down with Bruno Crepon. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. You are the designer of Rockwell. Yes, I am. <laughs> and as we were chatting as you were setting this up. Um, I am just utterly fascinated already. I have no idea how to play. Oh, really? I was, uh, no. Yeah, I, I am your perfect test case. Okay. But watching you set this up, I am completely and utterly fascinated okay. <laughs> just by the looks alone. Yeah, so it's pretty eye-catching. It right? sure is. Yeah. Wow. So Rockwell, what are we aiming to do? Well, actually, this is this is the earth, and these are different layers, and this is the center of the earth. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be digging and helping each other to get some resources. Is this a cooperative game? It is actually. Oh. It's a semi-competitive cooperative game. All right. That's what I've been told anyway. Be best of both worlds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what would a turn look like? Uh, well, a turn would like it would look like uh, this. There's a little bit of worker placement there. So you will you would place two vice president on certain spots on the board, uh, depending on what action you want to do or what advantages you want mm -hmm. to have during the turn, of course. So after that is done. The main part of the game is really the, the, the drilling part, where you will move around four sets of drilling crews around the earth and then help each other to extract resources. At, later in the turn, you will get to go to the market if you want to buy or sell resources, and eventually to the upgrade section to upgrade your company, your drill, your power, your mobility, things like that. Now, what is your objective? What, what determines how you win? Uh, well, you have to uh, uh, reach some achievements in the game. For example, this is an achievement, and this is one achievement. Oh, so, and let me just take a guess, to get to the center there you of the go. earth, you would, all right. You would score three, the other, uh, the, the last, this, this is the last achievement of that pile, actually. The first one would be six points, and then five, and four, and three. So there's like kind of a race to achievement mm -hmm. in the game. This is the, this is the first achievement in the game. So as soon as you get eight cubes of zinc and eight cubes of copper, there you go, you, you don't lose them. You just show the guys, hey, I got my eight and eight, you pick up the tile, and you're, yeah. <laughs> there, there, there are achievements during the game to reach, uh, and that, that's about it. When you have reached six of them, the game ends. Now, how many does this play? Uh, two to four. Better play three to four, that's for sure, but it, it plays from two to four. Yeah. How long? So, let's say in a four player game, how long do you think it can It's take a you? good at least 90 minutes plus, I'd say. So, pretty. That's, pretty it's a pretty game. long game, uh, but it, it's fun, so who cares? <laughs> Which is my philosophy for games a lot. Yeah. And actually, I just want to grab one yeah, of these sure. player boards here so we can zoom in on it. Um, do you happen to know uh, who your uh, graphic, your artist was? Yes, for this his game? name is uh, Yuyo. He's the same artist that is uh, that drawn for Karnag and Ubuyakasha. Mm -hmm. Two previous games by the same company. So it's good, eh? Which actually we didn't mention yet. This is published. Yeah, sit least down. Here for the Be Belgium. Sit down. <laughs> My far away friends from Belgium. <laughs> I'm from Canada, so. I was just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is a pretty far relationship yeah, there. <laughs> so, I'm guessing, um, we, can you just walk us through, like, so you mentioned that you would start a turn by placing yeah, your sure. vice presidents, but like, what would the digging look like? Because this is, as, as you said, was one of the main elements here yes, of it the is. game. So let's, let's just uh, assume that we placed our vice president. It's my turn to play. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's go, this is my drilling crew. So the white would go there, for example. Then it's purple turn, it would go there. And the red would go there. And that's it. We, are, we have reached the power requirement to drill that tile because we're power three total. Uh -huh. And then we would just flip the tile like this. Those go back there. And then I would flip a card here, corresponding with the same number. And these are the resources that we will that split. You found. There you go. We put them all in the center. And we will split that as evenly as possible between all the players that participated in the drilling. So we'd go like two zinc each, two copper each, uh, one copper each, right? And there is no always an excess. And that's, ah. the, that's the fun part of the game. Because who will get the excess? And this, is, this is a small, I guess, sometimes it can go up to three or four or five cubes. Who would get it? Well, if someone had built the mine shaft, Prior in, uh, during a prior turn, it would get the excess. If there's no mine shaft, it would be the most powerful player. So it would, ah. if it was like that, red would get the excess. And if, if there are no more powerful player, it would be the one who triggered the extraction. So let's say the purple came in last and triggered it, purple would get the excess. So that's the way it goes. <laughs> I can see how you why you have to work together. There's definitely you have to. that. I mean, some people try to do it alone, and that would be a good thing because you would get all the resources for, all for you. But you rarely can. <laughs> yeah. 
Now, so I'm guessing since you seem to have some player uh, shields there and player boards. Yeah, yes, because you hide your resources and money during the game, of course. Because you're trying to all work to get these achievements as quickly yes, as possible. There you go, there you go. Now, what information also do you have here? Because I'm guessing is this for each player as well? Yeah, you're right. These are your like your desk where you uh, <laughs> where you take uh, well you accumulate your achievements. Uh, they also inform you about the upgrades so you could uh, you could make your. Um, your uh, drill crew to go from power, uh, power one to power two to eventually three and four and that costs you money you could uh, upgrade your mobility you could go like this and now we can move sideways two times ah but still only down once yeah eventually you could do that here you could move two two uh, two ties down and uh, this is where the uh, the mining sh mining shaft that i was talking about ours it, it would cost you fifteen hundred dollars to put the mine shaft somewhere on the board so this is like your uh, main uh, Main, main board, personal board, personal desk. Now, since we are talking a lot about buying things, yeah. um, how exactly are we getting money? Is that through the market go. over there? Yeah, so if you went, if you had the uh, oh, the fortune to place a VP, have to put the VP at the market, on the first spot, let's say, you will be able to, to do four transactions, selling and or buying resources. So if I could sell all my, my Zinq cube, if I sell five Zinq cube, well, it's five times 400. Pick up two to two thousand bucks from the, right. the bank. Yeah, that's, so that's, the, that's the market, and you have to have a VP there. Of course, if you don't have a VP there, no market is just turn. And is there is a scaled for numbers of players? Yes, indeed. Well, it is. actually, it is the same price, right? But you have only two spots for a two or three player uh -huh. game. Okay. So there's a race for spots, of course, as an health worker placement game. Okay. <laughs> to keep it competitive. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and last question: Who decides? Who gets to control the VPs? Well, we all have two VPs. Ah. And at the start of the turn, we do a secret bid. Open our heads, we bid either cubes and our money. And the highest bid will place the VP first, second bid, second bid. There you go. So, spots might be... Oh yeah, they are. Yes, absolutely. You only have three spots, actually, for, for your VP. One on the first operation board, uh, three on the market board, and four on the upgrade board. So there's a, always a race for the spot for the, v, the best spot for the VPs, actually. Well, was there anything in particular that inspired you to be? Well, uh, I live in a mining town. That that could be it. But the first the first part, the first idea was, how about a game where we race for the center of the earth? And I had that idea in 2007. And two years later, I thought, hey, how about mining companies? And then it all fit together. <laughs> yeah, mining companies or extraction cubes. And then my eyes went boom. And I, I spent uh, the next four years designing the game. So this is, this has been really a uh, It's a long process. A long process, yeah. process yeah. yes. I, I, maybe it's never, it, it not always that case, but for me, it was a long process. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can tell, obviously, that a lot a lot of work has gone into yes. this. Yes, yes. Um, Bruno, thank you so much a lot, for stopping by hey. and showing us uh, Rockwell, which is uh, published here by Sit Down. Yeah.